Oh, hi. Oh, my mic was on the whole time. Oh, hi. Let's see. What have we got? Have I got? Have we got anything on the agenda? Really has flappy wings. The usual. Yeah. You, Very you, cool. She 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 wants you to turn off scripts so her wings aren't flapping, or turn on scripts so that she can stop the wings. Are scripts turned off here? Uh huh. They okay. aren't usually. Then how come the chairs work? Because the chairs are owned by you, and you're an estate manager, probably, maybe. Just take ownership of the wings. <laughs> that should do it. <laughs> I like uh, you, company. <laughs> let's see. It means they're disabled on the parcel, not in the estate. Uh... I think if you if you disable, you can run scripts. As, I think if I think if Whirly Whirly, if you change your active group to the to the Hippo Hollow to the Hippopropolis group, then it should work. Yeah, none of us are in that group. We're not special. Oh wait a minute! This is the separate theater group. Uh, blah blah bother. All right, hang on. For the time being, I will. Well, most of those use LL take controls so that they, they stop. No script. There, now they're stopped. Those wings yeah, obviously just... don't use LL take controls. <laughs> I'm really bummed. I lost my bid. For what? <sighs> A horizons. Horizons. Horizon slant. Oh, oh. Well, no, they're not all sold yet. Man. There's more chances, right? No, but I gotta get it one. Up. It's gotta have water. It's gotta have waterfront. Yeah, we oh, had a bit of an excitement going on. <laughs> and it was right next door to Whirly and Alexa. I really, 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 really wanted it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm sure it'll be turned around and for sale again. And yeah, and then I'll day. have to pay a hundred thousand London or some crazy thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Okay, obviously I haven't updated the list of stuff in the pipeline for a little while, but rather than do that while I'm sitting here talking, uh, I will try to catch up on it after or let whirly. But, um, uh, but uh, the pipeline is not very crowded right now anyway. So let's see. We have uh, We have the... 64-bit out as a project viewer, um, which is real good. I expect it will get at least one update next week. There are still a number of things left to be done on that before it will get to release candidate status. Yes, it's there. There's it's the project Alex IV on the alternate viewers page. Um, uh, so we have, we do still have, we have some crash reporting issues to solve or to at least to investigate. Um, yes, you can download it. Uh, the, I'm running it even as we speak. Um, and I would, I would love it if more people ran it. Actually, we're not getting very many. We're not getting a whole lot of. People running it. So you guys need to use your message of the day to get messages like that out. Like well, it's a, it, we don't want that many people running it. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is a problem. It, it is an all or nothing kind of deal. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, uh, but uh, we will we, we will be we will be doing a bunch of updates to that. The, currently, the Mac version doesn't yet have Havoc. Um, maybe a week or two, or maybe a little more before we have that ready. Um, it's going to get a new, newer version of KDU. Um, that's being integrated now. Um, it's, the plan is to revamp the 
updater code completely. Um, a whole new way of doing it. Um, she do like the way we do it. Uh, it's uh, the KDU versions, I think, 7.9? Seven, 7.9, nine. Seven, nine, yeah. Yeah, that's the one that just it just came out. Yeah, that's what we're using. So I, I figured, you know, let's pick it up right away. Um, there will be there there will be a new Havoc, at least a new Havoc build, and, um, and we'll we'll publish the library where those sub licensees can get it. Um, we probably won't do that until we get to the point where we're building release candidates, um, just because I don't want to repeat the process too many times. Um, but uh, that's that's part of the plan. Um, let's see. Uh, so those are the those are the big things. Um, the crash reporting may get revamped. The updating will will get revamped. KDU is being added, and then of course there's looking for bugs. But uh, I can't predict what those will turn out to be. Uh, so. Um, Yes, I would love to hear how the Linden Viewer runs for you. Um, that would be great. Uh, so far, we have a bunch of anecdotal reports that it's significantly faster, which is, you know, it's a, it's a small enough sample at this point that that's not very meaningful, but we'll see. Uh, well, the other difference is that, you know, it ends up using different libraries. Uh, anyway, um, so that's that's out there. Um, there is, of course, a maintenance stream in progress. Um, and that's got a bunch of bug fixes in it. Uh, I expect that there will be a voice update viewer uh, within the next couple of weeks with a new SL voice and some other What's new in that? voice related fixes. Uh, there's a new codec, the Opus codec, and uh, a bunch of bug fixes. That... Exploit fixes? Um, some exploit fixes, yes. Ah. Um, so that's, yeah, and we, we did a, right, the maintenance branch got an update last yes. night. Uh, which I didn't get around to fixing the source repo pointer for until this morning. Uh, and the 360 snapshot viewer is currently not. Oh, oh, that was the other thing that was going into the 64-bit code is a whole new packaging of the media code and an update to newer versions of uh, CEF. Um, <laughs> embargoing bugs. <laughs> yeah. You have um, done that before, more or less. And uh, so, and then the, um, and then after the CEF work is done for 64 bit, and that's all updated and working, then we will go back to working on the 360 snapshot viewer. It's the same person working on both. So, um, snapshot is kind of on hold until we until we get the uh, sixty four bit. And I heard CEF. somebody is um, breaking uh, Jonathan's code for shame. Somebody's breaking Jonathan's code. Yeah, that's what I heard. It's no, no, John, Jonathan is working on new code. <laughs> yeah, something about something being broke. Oh, it was you. Oh, you're breaking your own code. Oh, yeah. that's a silly thing to do. Why would you do that? Yeah. You know, he's, it's called refactoring. <laughs> First, you take it apart and spread it out all over the garage floor, and then you put it back together again. And find out you've got two out. pieces left over. And, and yeah, and you discover you've got pieces left over. Uh, so, uh, yes. And um, Jonathan is working on another one of his way cool features. So looking forward to it. 
Uh, so I think that's where we are in the world. Um, I, by the way, I, I hope we, right now, 64 bit, we are doing absolutely nothing on Linux. Um, we have just ignored it, mm. uh, so far altogether. Um, yeah, we just, just because we're just focused on getting the windows and, and, and Mac things under control and all these various improvements folded in. It is my hope that by our next TPV meeting in two weeks, we will have begun to think about how to deal with Linux. I would like to have a conversation with the community about that at that meeting. Um, but I don't really want to get into it now because we really haven't started thinking about it at all. We have done absolutely nothing. But we hope that by then we will be doing something, and I'll want to compare notes with the community about it. So just a little tease there. To, uh, uh, <laughs> um, uh, so we'll see what we're going to do. We're, it, whatever we do, it will be 64 bits. Um, we won't be doing any 32-bit builds for Linux anymore. You'll still do them for Windows? We are still going to do them for Windows. We will have a 32-bit a 32-bit version and a 64-bit version of Windows. We will have only 64-bit versions for Mac and only 64-bit okay. versions for Linux. Um, you mean only 32 for Linux? No, only 64 for Linux. Right. Okay. The uh, um, the the we've we've already dropped support for versions of. Uh, OS X for Mac OS that, that won't run on 32 bit only that'll run on 32 bit only machines. So basically we're, we're not impacting. Yeah, there are a few people like two digit number of people who, who have apparently at least attempted to run the viewer on machines that wouldn't run a 64 bit binary um, those machines are so old and so lame to begin with that I can't imagine they actually had an experience worth preserving yeah it's been a long long time so well I believe there are 32 bit windows builds on windows 7 yeah oh there, and there are enough people still using yeah. Those that we, we there's no question we will continue to support 32 bit yeah. build. And there's equally there is no question that you, no one should use them. Um, everyone should find a way to get to a 64 bit capable machine and update out of Windows okay. 7 and run the newer versions because your experience will be very significantly better. Very well, significantly. We've, we've stopped using Mac 32 or issuing Mac 32 for a while now. Uh, so we only offer uh, Mac 64 um, without Havoc. So and and there's been really no big screens. Yeah. At least not that I'm aware of. Worley might tell me differently. Um, shouldn't mm, reality are not necessarily compatible. No, we'll we'll definitely keep doing thirty-two bit builds. We had a lot of people who were who who couldn't who were, who were running it on old Windows boxes that apparently can't can't run a sixty-four bit. So we'll we'll keep doing our best as long as we can to support them. Uh, I wonder what um, lots translates to. I don't I don't have the numbers in front of me, but it's a it's a uh, it's a it was less than it was less than ten percent, but it wasn't a lot less. In in my head, it's you know seven or eight percent of users are running up things that look as though they can't run a sixty-four bit binary. That's of the Windows users. Their crash rates are more than like a 
<laughs> closer to like fifty percent of all the crashes, but yes. Yeah. Yeah, they're they're two and a half, three times higher than yeah, the, the even just running a our existing thirty two bit binaries on a sixty four bit OS. Yeah. Dramatically that's, reduces. That's your what we were trying to tell you before when, when we first started doing sixty four bit. Um it drastically dropped the, our crash rate. Which is why we use separate channels. In fact, we tried just to, so that we could differentiate between right. well, two. So far, we have not seen that with our test version, but the number really? the sample size is way too small for uh, the numbers to mean anything. Yeah. As the sample gets bigger, we found that too. If we just did a release and we check our, our numbers right after release, um, the crash rates between 32 and 64 are fairly close. But after a bit of saturation, it goes down. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah, exactly. And we know that the viewer does maybe have a memory leak or two. Nah. <laughs> awesome. We're working on okay. that, too. Ed, what was it last year? What was my mission last year again, which I failed at? Oh, the reaching cap. Right, so I failed at that. So I'm going to move on to a new mission. Um, no, Hover Height was it was in a mission. You guys were doing it, and I love you guys for doing that. Um, and and I I didn't have to fight you guys much for that. You you guys, you know, you you grabbed that ball and ran with it. That's awesome. Um, I have a new mission this year. Um, we get in the game, and this goes back to the original release of Viewer 2.0. Okay, so this is an old thing. It's a really old thing. Uh, well, no, the side, no, we're you're, not bringing that back. You're making me feel bad. That was right when I joined the company. That, right. So, uh, one of my biggest disappointments when I first tried, and I was so excited, I was so excited to try it, and I got on Viewer 2.0, and I was devastated to discover that I had music screaming at my face and I couldn't figure out because it's this brand new interface and I couldn't figure out where the, how the hell, where do you, what do you do? Oh my God. Okay. So that still happens. Your default is media plays automatically. Okay. Now, now the problem is with the gateway that we have and we're onboarding Linden residents coming in the Linden viewer, um, they are screaming music over their microphone a lot and it's not because they're doing it on purpose it's because when they come in they've got music blaring and they have no idea why it's a really bad first experience um well it's it's your original then, wise their media they, well, no no it's <laughs> the music streams have, it's not it's media music it's music streams it's music streams it, it, it by default when you log in on a fresh settings on a linen viewer it is automatically playing the music stream that is in a region and it's a terrible first user experience but it's your in, region why do you have a music stream going off. if you don't want them to be playing music why are you playing no music? no 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 no. that's not the point the point is no, we, yeah. get, yeah. we get we get a ton of people that saying how the hell do i turn this music off because what happens is okay let's say we don't have music in our region eventually they're going to leave our region and land somewhere else and music is still going to play automatically and they're going to be trying to figure out how the bloody hell do we turn this off because it's it's you know when it's a new interface it's a new platform it's a new game everything is completely new to them it just really is a really negative experience have the default off well but that's my mission. I mean, I, I don't have. I don't. Mission. I don't have a. I don't have a dog in this fight. So I'm. But but I'm going to tell you what. What I think the response to that would be. Mm. Um, from. I know, I know Linden Lab as a whole. That is, is because I filed a jar for it. Well, I wait a minute. A but, for it, and it was declined. Well, there's lots of jeers for it. Yeah. Yeah. The. Point is, if people want to have music in the on. experience that they're creating in Second Life, I'm talking about the creators, the people who are right. placing things in the world. Right. They put music there for a reason. That was part of what they were trying to do. And if we leave it off, 
then people won't experience what the creators have created. Let me try to counter okay. that. Okay. I built a radio, and I want people to play the radio, but when they first plug it in, they have to turn it on first. Well, what I'm what I'm telling you is, if the, you think the that the radio that you built and um, someone wants to listen to is more of a media on a prim example, yeah, that's uh, fair. music okay. playing, music streams playing in a region is comparable to me walking into a bar. There's music playing in the bar. I can put some earplugs in if I don't like it, but. If the region has music, the expectation is that people coming into that region should hear it. Right. It, yeah. What you're complaining about, the, the uh, other, my, the other just, yeah. my interpretation of what you're complaining about yeah. is yeah. that people are doing a bad job setting up their, their parcels. I tend to disagree. And that's, okay. not our, okay. that's not our responsibility. Okay, can that's I suggest... Like blaming. That's, like, that's really like blaming a victim for... So a bad problem or for somebody abusing them, that's really the same thing. Oh, okay. Because okay. it's uh, also uh, like a person walking into a business meeting with a boom box on their shoulder, playing at full volume in the middle of uh, a business meeting. Uh, 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 I have a suggestion that might be acceptable to both parties. Mm -hmm. And that is, instead of having the volume slider automatically sent to halfway for music, which is in most cases, way too loud. You can't hear anything else other than music. Uh, drop the volume maybe down to a quarter or an eighth of volume. Then people would still be able to hear the music, but they'd be able to hear other people talking and other things as well. It's It, it really is more, in my estimation, a, a case of the volume of it. So, Because they really can't hear anything I, else with I, the music I, at I'm half volume. Ask. I'm looking at this from the perspective, not of a, um, you know, an experienced creator. I'm looking at it from the perspective of a new user who's just entered a, a new platform. And they still don't understand what it is. And that first time experience, as you guys know, is really, really important that they enjoy it. Now, we have music playing on our region, um, and we have it there as if people want to listen to music, they can push play and they can hear music. Um, now, we can disable that music. It's not that big a deal. We can disable it. But eventually that new user is going to leave that region and land somewhere else where there is music. And then they will not be around helpers to help them disable it. The biggest complaint we are getting from new residents signing up is how do you stop the music? Because it's just and so loud. If that's the biggest complaint, then that is affecting your conversion rates, your new user. They don't and know how. We teach them how, but it's... It, so it's you you it's control it. the music. Yes. It's so your wait, music. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay, so, okay. Turn it that. off. We'll turn it off. We'll turn it off, okay? But then they're going to leave, and they're going to go somewhere else, and they're going to have music playing, and nobody will be there to help them figure out how to turn it off. And then they rage quit. Well, I... I guess we can take a look at what the default volume levels are, but I, we're not going to disable media. We're not going to do that. Media is part of the experiences people create. If people create bad experiences, uh, that's us, what they create. Us. Us, we're not asking you to turn off the media. We're asking you to turn the autoplay function off. On, on that's music. what we're wanting turned off. That's, the that's turning it off. If, if it doesn't if it's if it's if we if we uncheck that the music does not play that's turning it off that's what it is but we'll take a look okay. at the, 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 the suggestion to consider changing the default is a reasonable one and we're going to look at it um Maybe Ed's got a better compromise, is just turn it down to a, a level that is not blaring loud, um, that isn't interfering with their experience, their, their first, wherever it is. Like, I'm talking about new resis here. I'm not talking about um, yeah. people who come in SL once they're experienced in SL. These are brand new people, and, and they come in and they're freaking out. 
we see it. They're freaking out, and they get on the mic, and then they've got music blaring on their microphone because they've got mic toggled on, and they don't even know that they're doing that. And then their phone rings, and they're talking on the phone because they don't know they're like we're talking about newbies. Um, and so, right. so I I feel that the default is is annoying to begin with, even for experience. But for new residents, um, we're going to keep our music playing because. Um, they will come to us and ask us how to turn it off, and, and then we at least there's somebody there to help them. Sure. But for and, residents coming in through your gateways, through through your learning islands and stuff, when they leave there, they land somewhere else. You got music playing there, how to turn it off? It's a bad first experience. If it's turned down, it really better, is. Then at least they can turn it up. They know it's playing. They can turn it up if they like it. I suppose. Okay. Um, well. <laughs> Take it under consideration. And um, if you feel that this is really a big chunk of the first experience, then perhaps part of the gateway should be that, you know, once they progress through some other experiences, they get to a part where music is central, and this is where you teach them how to turn it up and down, right? That's a good idea, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I've only been back for a few that, weeks. That might help. Uh, from my uh, uh, extended uh, Vacation, I guess you could call it. Oh, and by the way, Oz, yeah, you can call me Al. Um, but probably half of the com half of the people that are coming in on the gateway, that's one of the first things they ask is, how do I turn the damn music off or down? And they're angry. Because they can't hear anything else. They really can't at that volume. Well, are they on our viewer or are they on yours? On yours. Oh, Most of them are on yours. Okay. Okay, I have a question right quick. In this sound and media, there's there's two tabs. Um, in the general tab, there is all the stuff that says streaming music enabled. If you flip over to the music tab on that, there's an allow auto stream to auto play. Can that be turned off by default? Just that one little function in the music tab without disabling media? Well, the problem is, the, the problem that, uh, the, the way Oz has explained it, the problem is that by turning that off, you're turning the music off, and they don't know that there's music available. Yeah, and I, I, I can understand that, and I can even agree with that. I, the, my biggest thing is just the sheer volume, to be honest. Well, we can, we can look at that. The, the, that's, and we will. Um, that'd be a great, kind of tricky. That. That's kind of tricky because the subjective experience of what volume you get um, is extremely dependent on the rest of the of the user's system and how it's set up. Yep. Right? I mean, whether they're listening on headphones or uh, or you know, cruddy earbuds or you know, yes. high end stereo they've got plugged into the thing, it's it's completely different experience but yeah but, it's, but the relative values is legit yeah. and that that should be something we can fiddle with cool it'd be greatly appreciated yeah by, that's, that's by the gateway team this year. <laughs> well that's, that's my new year's resolution this year so, so, well, so if you want so early so in the year want, you know <laughs> so if you want to <laughs> shut <laughs> jess up quickly year, <laughs> if you want to <laughs> shut jess up quickly <laughs> Does that mean we get I the rest do, of the year off? The uh, no, I will. <laughs> if you fix too quickly, I will find something else for the rest of the year. You're not supposed <laughs> to tell him that, Jeff. Plenty of things. Like me losing this bit on this bloody parcel. Damn it. I'm so bummed. Yeah, click to walk is another one. Um, Nooblets getting stuck in trees and walls and stuff they're moving they don't know why How, why did i just move i didn't touch my keyboard they don't realize because they they click the mouse and they automatically walk somewhere yeah well Are i'd you? like to yeah i'd like to uh, personally i'd like to change that so that it uses the pathfinding walk they can't you wouldn't because least, wouldn't get the one stuck. thing the one thing second life has in common with every other game is that the arrow keys move you uh, Vera, yes, they can, and I can prove it to you. Come over to the gateway one day, stand around, and watch all the nooblets try to fly off the regions. No, yeah. <laughs> and watch them bounce off the region walls. Well, 
Well, you keep in mind, Naran, that when they're coming in, um, it's it is really overwhelming. The, the viewer experience the first time in Second Life and the, this viewer, it is overwhelming and even worse, you know, on the Firestorm viewer. Um, and um, so sort of my point of view is to try to reduce that overwhelming experience a little bit, if we can, just a little bit. When I first tried Viewer 2.0, when it first came out, and I'm a, I was an experienced user at that time, when it first came out and I, I logged in on it, um, I don't know what the default is now, but the default then was full blast. And I just sitting screaming out my speakers and I'm like, oh my God, you know, and I'm trying to find, you have no idea where to even begin to think to look for volume in, a, in an interface that you've never seen before. Um, and especially an interface as complicated and confusing as, as the viewer is. Um, so the, the idea is, yeah, the users are going to have to get pretty smart pretty quick because Second Life is complicated. Um, the viewer is complicated, and that's just the way it is. But if we can get them to stay in SL for a couple days, long enough to start to get the hang of things, but if they're coming in and they got the music blasting, um, they're gone. It becomes okay. very frustrating. Okay, I guess I'll have to use voice now because um, I'm getting really, yeah. I'm, I'm getting really tired of writing. Because it's, it, it, uh, there's nothing wrong with you using voice. You, you got a great voice. I love you. Um, so what I think about this is, um, like I said, you're right about that. It's it's bad as it is because well, probably um, something like music shouldn't be on unless it is, you know something like a game where the music is part of the game or the experience. And in that case, um, Oz is right again that, well, it's part of the experience. Um, but both of you are wrong, if you ask me, because uh, it's the user's fault at the end of the day. No matter what you do, it's always the user's fault. If the user is not... Um, let's say, intelligent enough to figure out where the stop button is or the play button. Then oh, they could. Well, uh, I've got no doubt yeah, that they, they would eventually figure it out, hard. but it's that initial blaring of music and panicking and trying to find it. To, that That is... We're talking about brand new counts. <laughs> uh, oh, okay, I have an additional question. In thinking about this and everything, would it be possible to put a prompt at the very beginning of starting the viewer up to automatically set the autoplay off? Absolutely okay. not. Simply, Just sim simply give an option if you want to play music. No. No. Why not? Why not? No. The answer is no. There will not be an auto prompt or an option. However, all of your suggestions are taken, and uh, your point is well taken, and yeah, well, then, then we are going to said. consider all of them, and I expect that the answer will be to lower the default volume, because I think that this is the yeah. one that satisfies all of our Yay. Um Yes. And that, you should I expect totally to see it soon. Someone. And click to walk. Yes, please. Can, can you please click next, to walk yes. as a separate one, Jess? Okay, fine. How poorly file a or something? <laughs> okay, oh, I'm sure there's plenty of years. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> All right. Um, thank you. Do we have any yeah. other topics? I think this one's been beaten yeah, and yelled at be to death. Beaten to death. Okay, so I don't have anything else. I don't think. Okay. Well, we're, um, we're sort of waiting on some stuff from you guys that we can merge in and then start our QA process again. Uh, what are you waiting for us for? To drop a couple big code drops that we can merge well, the into. Next the one will almost. Is, the, the next one will be the maintenance one. Yeah. Okay. Oh, here, and, here. And, uh, you know, if, if I had to guess. 64-bit um, is going to have a significantly longer project viewer cycle than normal. Okay. So there'll there'll be another round of maintenance things behind this one that will more than likely beat 64-bit to the gate. Um, and of course, uh, as I mentioned, we're 
we're going to have a voice update viewer. So, um, which oh, which yeah. may get folded into a, a maintenance stream depending on what else is in there. But we'll see. That was the other thing. Thank you, Ross. Was the group chat thing? What's the group chat thing? Um, group chat lag has returned over the holidays. Yes, it did. Yesterday was the last time. Really, since we talked and, uh, about it yesterday, did it clear? I don't know what since yesterday. Okay, so you guys did something as okay, of yesterday. Okay, are you talking? Yeah. Okay. Great. So we'll 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 hold yeah, off. Yeah, Whirly brought it up time. yesterday in triage, and I think that's been taken care of. Oh, and I for, for a moment I thought you brought the group chat light back. <laughs> it <laughs> just it may just be that the, <laughs> it may just be that the, the chat servers hadn't been restarted in too long. Yeah, it was yeah, over pretty the much. holidays. I think that's what it was. I mean, if I recall, the last time we looked, they had been running for months. Uh, so, which is pretty good. Do you not restart that regularly, Ross? No, no, we don't. They don't auto restart. No, they like they're just running twenty four seven. Wow. People are chatting twenty four seven, so it's better if we just run the servers twenty four seven. Yeah, if you just stop otherwise, to each other. The otherwise, there would be a break where every day or every week or whatever it was that where there wouldn't be any chatting, the group chat. Any. Okay, uh, uh, is there a uh, is there? Sorry, there were two of you speaking. I couldn't follow it. What'd you say, Annie? Oz, I actually had a question with regards to the, to the group notices. Is that also on a separate server? I don't know what the difference is off the top of my head. Well, I, I've, no, I've noticed that sometimes um, with group notices that they sometimes won't come through. And I'm wondering if that's on a separate server that hasn't been restarted in a while. Because... I I don't know. Um, take, take the ACES group. Every, every every once in a while, if a particular person sends a notice, it does not come through. It will be there, but it won't come through on the pop-ups. It, it could be um, due to those group notices appearing in the chat window, too. Maybe... If that one particular person is lagging in chat or generally has lag, um, he might not be able to send it because it's maybe waiting to be sent in chat too. Maybe that's the problem. I don't know. I I, I just don't know off the top of my head whether those are whether those are in the same streams or not. I'll have to. I'll have to. Check on that. If you would please ask, uh, because there are some, there's that the group notices are buggy and uh, okay, that needs to be addressed because it it really does. It really needs to be addressed. I I do know that we thing anyway. we just recently fixed a bug. I don't think it's in general deployment yet, where the the messages you get when you first log in um especially for premium users who can have more queued up didn't always get delivered some of them got dropped and uh, uh and we just put in a fix for that um so it's possible if if i don't know but if group notices are in that same pipeline that could have been a symptom of that same problem and um, so are you I guess the question there is that it goes with that speculation is are we are people who are not getting the group notices people who are just logging in or is it that people who are already logged in when the notice is sent are not always getting my 
experience is it's both us. Okay. Um, for instance, I, ha I have all my outlines sent to my email, which includes the notices. Right. But even when I'm logged in, sometimes I will not get a notice. Huh. Okay. Um, that well, happens a lot in the ACES group. But do you get it per mail? Yeah, drop drop me drop me an email or file a Jira is even better. Um, and cite the group that you're seeing the problem in, because then we we'll have something to load. Well, I'm seeing it in several groups. That's the problem. Well, a, a list it's is not fine. Just one specific group; it's several. Okay. We're at least gonna look it up for us. Great. Well, it would be easier if it was just one specific group, but if it's several, that's fine, too. And actually, if there are groups where you don't see it, that's also valuable, because then we can compare what those are. <laughs> okay. Everybody should have a mission. Four oh eight two four. Okay. Well, this is something I would normally immediately ask Simon to look at, but he's out sick, so it'll have to wait until he gets healthy again. The whole West Coast seems to be having a plague these days, so... Uh, I hope they're not having that nasty flu. Yeah, we've had a lot of people out sick lately. I have the plague. <laughs> and I'm on the East Coast. It's spreading. Okay, other topics? Yes. Me, no. me, over here. I do have a hard stop at the top of the hour today. What's up? Ah. Come on. Um, I told you, uh, what was it, two days ago about the environment thing? Um, I wanted to talk about environment maps and shiny and what no. I think should happen to them. Shh, Drake, shh. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> the, uh... That's, that's oh. the ugly um, representation of the sky that you see when you said something to Shiny. That's... Uh... And, okay. Um, why don't you just fix the environment map near it instead of whining about the environment map? <laughs> well, well, are we talking? Are we talking about? Are we are we talking about the 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 old shiny or? Um, generally, the um, environment map shiny. So, whether it is the shiny feature or the actual materials environment glossiness thing. Um, I looked into the code, and what I saw was that um, the environment map seems to be generated. Um, so my initial idea to just replace the texture wherever it is doesn't work, sadly, because my idea was, why don't we have an option to change the environment map? No. I mean, wait, wait. I, I I think this is not a subject that's amenable to discussion in voice because I don't actually know what you're talking about at all. Um, so I think we need to back up and uh, you need to write it down for me and preferably provide, you know, illustrations of what you're talking about because How about this? Uh, or, or set up a demo somewhere that, that I can go visit in Second Life. 
Uh, um, the environment map is basically uh, it's what's shown in it, it's it's mixed into reflections. It's currently an approximation of the sky without a few shaders layered into it. Okay. So it looks kind of weird. Ideally, yeah. the environment map could be improved. Uh, it, it could at yeah. least be um, colored properly and not some chromatic stuff. It's just a very base sky layer if you take off all the wind light shaders layered onto it. Yeah. And my idea was um, maybe improving it or even giving the option to change it completely. Replacing it with a custom texture, maybe. Even if it's just I, local. I, I, but that would also change how shiny looks and make it non-metallic again. Uh, yes. That, well, we can't, we can't break existing shiny um, thing. The, yeah, that would break existing content, is, in. The idea is giving content creators the option to change it. By just simply selecting a texture just like you do with materials but how is that oh, different oh, how is that different than than defining a specular map for the object um how is that different well the specular map just defines how shiny something should be and where it should be shiny yeah but you can also define that you can also give it a color Yes. And you can define the environment map mix in, so. Right. Yes, but the I, environment I... map looks like crap. And th the worst of it all, I can't um, make, let's say, projectors reflect in something without having the environment map. I can't turn off the environment map. Wait, wait, I, I got a picture for this. Hold on. I, I got a picture okay. for this. Um, okay. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Okay, this. Someone on my view made a really, really nice room. I can even show you pictures of that later, or the new video he posted. Um, so, thing is, this is how it could look, the room, if there were no environment map involved. But, this involves using the, um, what is it called, the environment, yeah, environment slider. So that there's, if you go into the build menu, there are two sliders, one for glossiness, that's the old shiny, without the environment map, and then there's the environment slider. The environment slider controls how much the environment map is mixed into the shiny, and also controls how much other objects are mixed into it, like, Okay. Projectors. So the the trick here is um, using projector lights with an image as projector to fake reflections, kind of like faked environment map. But okay, that's an interesting but, idea. But if I do that, everyone else on other viewers that still have the environment map in place, as you may know or not. I disabled the environment map. That's why it looks like that. But on other viewers, it looks like... Um, God damn it, I, I don't have the picture here right now. Where the, but but um, Niran, that's your fault for making features that don't look right on other viewers. Drake, no. No. All right, well, no. but, but, okay. The, but the let's... let's... I need to. I need to. Thing is that it could look better, proven by the picture. Okay, wait. Could... Okay, I, I I hear you. I think I understand very very broadly what the issue is, but what I what I would need to do to get to evaluate whether or not it's a a change we could make is first of all a very specific change that we ought to make and. You know, you certainly are capable of making a test viewer that demonstrates what what you're suggesting, but also need to understand that um, 
we're not going to be willing to make a change that breaks something as simple and common, commonly used as shininess, right? So we, we aren't going to be able to go and say, update all your shiny objects to do things differently, even if doing so would look better than what's there now. Even if that would be a much better result, we just can't do it. We're, no, we just can't. Uh, right? We have an entire world full of shiny objects. <laughs> yeah, but what and, I'm saying is add an option or the possibility to disable the inclusion of the environment map. That would be a start. It, it, it would be just a tiny thing, but it would be a start because you could just disable it and not use it. But well, so what you're suggesting is that a content creator be able to define an object in such a way that the environment map does not apply to that object. Yes, but the rest is included, like the lights or the projectors in this case. Okay. Fixed in project sense. <laughs> but if uh, that's well, that's kind of a that's kind of a meme that we have in the Second Life team is fixed in Sansar, I guess. Okay. Many things are. Um, yeah, I guess. Uh, by the way, you should not you should not take that as an yeah. indication that this particular <laughs> issue is in any way addressed in Sansar. I have no idea. I very carefully <laughs> remain as ignorant as I possibly can about Sansar. Um, I know what the lo logo looked like because they gave me a T-shirt that has it on. But that's that's pretty much it. Um, so, so coming to a conclusion, um, what I want ultimately is obviously the ability to change the environment map with the ugly environment map defaulting, so all stuff but, isn't broken. Okay, but, but when you say that, when you say that, I need to understand. When you say the environment map, do you mean the environment map as applied to everything in the world? Or are yes. you talking about the environment map as applied to a specific object? Uh, hmm. because, uh, because I'm pretty hesitant to make changes that, that change how everything in the world looks. Uh, I'm, you know, I don't want the pitchfork and the torches at my house. Okay, let, let me try to explain it this way. What I want is an, an texture selection that allows you or allows every content creator to change the uh, object-specific environment map per object. And on top of that, it will default to the normal pre-generated one. So the one we are, we are using right now, the ugly one, the one I want to get rid of. That way... And everything legacy will stay the same, but giving content creators the new option to change the environment map and therefore creating like reflective, I don't know, orbs or mirrors or at least faking them. Okay. So mirrors. Okay. Yeah, it, it, it would it be under, understand. Mirrors. You have to, you have to, you have to understand a certain amount of context and I, I am going to need to go in just a, a minute or two here. Um, uh, I am not a rendering developer. I don't understand no, how this stuff works, okay? So if you want me to understand it and advocate for it, you have to break it down and provide me with real simple examples I can understand. Um, and... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> be funny um, right and and explain to me how that change gets and and by the way I'm not picking on you 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 wouldn't believe how long I made gains go through this before we did materials um, I mean that went on for months and months okay um, and eventually we ended up doing it right and on the so especially so especially what you need to explain to me is how you how, how what you're asking for differs from what we already provide with materials. All right? So um, with that, I kind of have to wrap up because I've got a meeting that I also near really need to be need for. Suggesting adding yet another texture to objects that people yes, can abuse. Yes, yes, Please, Drake, oh know. God, why? Yes, Drake, I, I know. <laughs> that, that is... That is probably the biggest downside of it, that 
Yes, another texture layer. If it that's, if it if it does something that's genuinely good and it doesn't hurt back, backwards compatibility, you know, it's not out of the question. But I well, well, but I need to understand it a lot better because I don't. Doable. It, it's doable that it doesn't hurt the legacy content. Yes, but as Drake already said, that you know, bad creators will probably create bad things with it, namely using lots of well, ten twenty four by 1024 textures on it and uh, probably driving the viewer mad. <laughs> okay. I gotta go, folks. Thank you yeah. very much. Thanks, Thanks guys. Good weekend, guys. Bye, Bye. Everybody. Good to see you all again. Um, and I gotta go make a phone call. I'll be <laughs> Thank in, you, in my messy place. Hey, yeah, I'm gonna be bugging you in a couple minutes. Alright, well, I gotta do a phone call. It might take me 20, so... Uh, that's fine. Uh, I need to get a fresh cup of tea. If you do it the same way materials works, then no. It, it They're in traditionally in game engines. The environment map is specified per level. Yes, I know, but this is this is not a game. I, I mean, even if it was a global thing, that would be fine. I would be totally fine with it, but please, please let us change it. Even if it's just... I don't know, a wind light option. Please add it to wind light. Uh, I don't know. G give us the option in the wind light sky editor to change the the global environment map. That would be fine too. That's all. Z -sort, I want. Fixing the Z sort on the Alpha Norton is a Cthulhu project in regards to how Alpha works in Second Life. If more people start screaming and yelling and Complaining and causing all kinds of drama. I know just who to come hunt down to. <laughs> well, let's just yeah, say that it will me. not be pleasurable. Yeah, please send them to me. I'm just waiting for these people to pop up. Hey, Niren. I'm just Niren. waiting for these people. Please send them all to me. Just wait until you make a change to the viewer that gets you angry death threats like I do sometimes. Uh, I did. Changing the basic controls, removing the arrow keys as movement keys. That made a lot of people angry. Hey, scripts were just but enabled. That's your tiny viewer. Now just imagine this on the scale of the entire Second Life user base, or a significant yeah. portion of well, it. What's the problem? What's the problem? I don't care if the entire the entirety of Second Life is screaming at me. I mean, if if I do, if I change something and people don't like it, well, then I'll have to cope with it. What's the problem with that? Where's where 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 is Kitty? I need to bump her. Sixteen users. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 16. Yeah, yeah Niren. Just wait until you have four thousand people, four hundred thousand people harassing you in Second Life on Steam, on Skype, literally any way they can find to harass you, because they will find a way to harass you. Yeah. And I don't care. Yeah, like the individuals that track me down, like the individuals that track me down on another grid to harass me and another person with regards to open collar. That went as far as to call Second Life a communistic country run by a communistic government that's run by a communistic dictator. All bent on capitalism without free market. Mind Kitty, you. no one wants to stalk and burn, burn you at the stake because you are nice and pleasant. And you don't do anything that makes them want to kill you. That sounds exactly like pork. So... Right, that Take care, Wendy. I'll I see you later. Yeah. And I've, I've, I've got noted who to come hunt down, and how I'm going to hunt them down if well people start any, streaming and yelling. I, I will just make a we near, a, a near and button. It will be called. If you don't like why this broke, press this to harass them. <laughs> yeah. yeah.